And these are actually, in competition barbecue, these are actually legal to turn in for the chicken category. Cornish hens, or I like to call them baby chickens. Since we're doing some poultry, this would be a fun thing to do. Not a lot of people do Cornish hens. They're actually really good. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hang these uh, Cornish hens today, and we're gonna do a spicy Cornish hen. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna load these up with some Fergalicious Red Hot Love, which is a honey habanero rub, and get these things nice and spicy. I'm gonna open this up over here. Maybe turn on some cold water, just rinse them off a little bit. They've been in that packaging. And you can kind of see these little, you can kind of see these little guys right here. It's just a, like I said, it's a baby chicken. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some butcher string to do a couple things. I'm gonna do two, two things here um, to kind of keep the bird intact uh, so it doesn't get too loose and it'll cook a little bit more evenly. I'm gonna tie the legs together. So I'm gonna tie these legs together right here. And I'm just gonna get this really tight. I'm gonna tie a, a knot off here. And then I'm gonna cut off our excess. Okay, and then the other one, I don't want these, these guys to be flailing out there because they might, these might get kind of crispy, so I wanna keep this tight too. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring this piece of string under here. And a really cool trick when you want to, if you want to keep this uh, tight, um, so you can tie a knot, is you go through not once, but go through twice, and then pull it down. And as you see, it'll stay tight, so that you can come back and make your final knot to keep that nice and tight there. Again, we're going to take that off. Okay, so now the bird is going to, the bird is going to be able to hang, and everything is going to stay together like that. All right and we can keep everything nice and in close quarters. The first thing I do when I do any poultry, if I do any chicken or anything, is I, I love to hit it with, with some duck fat spray. Um, it's gonna help with the color, it's gonna crisp up the skin. A lot of people like to use olive oil spray, we like to use duck fat spray. So we're gonna spray this thing all over. We're gonna spray his rump, get the legs, okay? Once we've done that, like I said, this is going to be a spicy. This is going to be a spicy Cornish hen. So we're going to use some Fergalicious Red Hot Love, and we're going to be very liberal with this. I'm going to get all around the bird. Once we've done that, here's how we're going to hang these things. All right, we're going to take a normal hanger, a normal clothes hanger. And we're gonna straighten this guy out so that we can fit this through the cavity of the bird. All right, so we're gonna take this, insert it there, come out here on the other side. Now be real careful when you open this up because it's gonna do that right there. See what it does? It shoots the bird all the way up. So once you get there, you kinda of gotta be able to, to bend this without losing your losing your chicken off the other end here. And that hook's gonna help keep it in there so you don't have to worry about it coming off. But what we wanna do is we wanna bend this so we can get our hands. And we wanna get some little hooks on this. Just like that. And then we can hang our bird, okay? It doesn't have to be pretty. But now we can put this right in our gateway drum and we can just hang it and let it catch all the smoke flavor from hanging. So we're gonna put these on our gateway drum here in a little bit after it gets up to temp with our Royal Oak XL cut charcoal. We got a little bit of cherry wood on there. We got a little bit of pecan wood on there. And we're gonna get this guy up to about 300 degrees. A Cornish hen's about this small, maybe about an hour, running about 300 degrees, maybe a little less. And we're gonna temp it just like we temp chicken. We're gonna take it to about 165, 170 degrees internal and we're gonna test it in the breast meat. And then we'll bring these guys in and we'll glaze them with some spicy sauce. So you got your little leg quarters right there. Then you can come in and you can pull your wings out. And then I'll take a knife and I'll come right in here to the, to the side of the breastbone. And then this, you can pull this breast meat out. And it, I mean, you can see the, 
you can see the juices there. And then I like to do like a pulled. You can make sandwiches out of this. But it's like no different than having like pulled pork or you're just having pulled Cornish hen. And then we want to spice it up a notch. Since we're doing a spicy Cornish hen, we're gonna take a little bit of Cosmos peach habanero sauce. Just to add one more little layer of flavor, get make it a little hotter. We're gonna put a little bit of wing dust in this. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of pinch of this. I'm a sandwich guy. I love sandwiches. And this is the perfect kind of meat to do, to do a sandwich with. And you got yourself a little pulled Cornish hen slider. Oh yeah, it's got a little kick to it. Super juicy. Got that nice flavor. Just a little bit of smoke on there from the charcoal and from the wood. Hopefully you're making this at home right now.